up. You're Cat and Lions. Oh, my God. Cat and Lions. How, right, how's that going that. for you? Start off great. Why? Start off awesome. Because my team was actually prepared. Uh, I'll explain because that. Go I ahead, attended go ahead. the first three games, and his team was on a three-game winning streak. We're on a three-game winning streak, man. And then the last two games, I didn't go. And guess what happens? Two games good. But I'm coming to this next game, so that should be a dub. So three-game winning streak. The kids look good. They were giving me about three quarters a game, like they. And, and granted, they're nine and ten year olds. Like it's just it's tough, right? It is so what it is, yeah. we we were running a five three front. We're gonna run a four four front this this week on defense because we're playing against Pontiac, and Pontiac loves the run outside. They run right, run left. They don't have any crazy studs. They're just fast. They're fast and they're aggressive. Um, but man, the biggest obstacle course that I've had thus far. I was just gonna ask you what is the biggest obstacle was was getting these kids to not shut down after getting scored on one time or giving me the full four quarters. It's kind of like the punch in your mouth. How do yeah, you and how do you get back up? And that's yeah, been that's like hard. that short term memory, and I've been preaching that since since training camp when we started back in July. Yeah, you got if you make a mistake, no problem. I'm not gonna yell at you about making a mistake. Yeah, it happens. You Learn mistake, from it, move drop on. It, move on, yeah. They are like literally beating themselves up so bad. So the first three weeks, we we came out, we stopped them, we went on defense first because I always defer. Uh, went on defense first, stopped them, went down, scored. They were cloud nine. They were playing with high intensity. They were doing great. The the fourth week comes around and we stopped them, didn't score. Then they came back and scored again. Really. And it was like they got punched in the jaw and they would not get back up. So you feel like your team is better when you guys score first? Always. Why don't you receive the ball? Well, a lot of times not our hands. So like the the, the weeks that we're home well, or majority when we're of away, teams defer, if you win right? the toss or not. Do majority of teams kick? And I don't because my defense is my stronger squad. Okay, makes my sense. defense is my strong. I, I, so I, you want them out? Yeah, first. I want them out first to set the tone. Yeah. So and we yeah, haven't been scored on first drive yet, right? It's usually when we take the other uh, offense out there and they don't move the ball. Then, then Black goes back out there, sort of tired and like you know, like sort of defeated. Like like our offense didn't score, and our defense sort of turns it off a little bit. By Black, you mean you like your Black squad, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's that's. So I got my Black Blue Silver. Okay. okay our okay. Black squad. I my Black defense is always out there. Okay, like that. Okay. That's just our starting lineup. That's my Black defense. Where I get everybody else in is on offense. Got you. Got you. Uh, so we're not always gonna move the ball. I got minimum plays we gotta get and all that other stuff. Sometimes but it doesn't go. Like last week, I had to add my quarterback, and he called a twenty-five a fake twenty-five power pass. That's what it was. And on that, he's supposed to go and fake to to the five hole and then roll out to the six hole. And hit his tight end on an out route, and you know these nine year olds, dude, they're getting it. Like it's crazy. The fact that they remember all these things, like as I'm saying, I'm like, Damn, pretty cool. They're, they're doing it's awesome cool things. Cool to see emotion. It's unreal. Yeah. So we're doing this in the game, and in practice, we we're nonstop scrimmaging. We're getting it done, making sure they know their plays. We do it in the game. He rolled out the wrong way. Who does he roll out into? The defensive end coming right in, and just got walloped. Boom. And then after that, like he started crying. He started like, I I I did this. So I had to pull him out. Pull them out of the game. Said you're done. Sit on side. No problem. Once you get you get your nerves together, come back to me. Yeah. Came back to me. It was only like a minute left that of half before halftime. Um, came talked to him during halftime. I'm like, listen, I didn't pull you because you made a mistake. I didn't pull you because you threw an incomplete pass. I pulled you to gather yourself. You gotta gather yourself. You you, you, yeah. ca- you gotta be mentally right in yeah. order to play this game. Because if you're not, you're gonna go out there and get hurt. So that's true. my biggest obstacle. Number one is getting them getting them mentally stronger, and I've been telling them since day one it's a mental emotional game. It's a tough task though. They're so young. So and hard at that age, it's man. Very difficult. So hard at that age. And the other one is just the the timidness. Like my middle linebacker, for example, he'll scrape across, he'll fill the gap as he sees the hole opening, and he gets there and he goes and make the hit, and then he eases up. Mm. So it's like finishing through the hit. That's how you get hurt. Um, you know? And you, when you sit back and you're waiting to receive the hit instead of delivering the hit, yeah, that's that. where you get hurt. So those yeah, have like been the whole like, yeah, you bracing yourself. You, you can't brace that for impact and then disengage. You can't yeah, do that. that was the hardest, literally the hardest thing so far of what I've the obstacles that I've had. Yeah. It's um. Hard. So you know, but they're doing good. We we need one more win. One more win and we're in the playoffs. I mean, I'm coming, so I think you guys should. You know, you know what's funny about that is, is freaking my son's name, that little shithead. Hey, leave the name alone. Hey, I'm gonna knock him out, dude. After I, I'm with that kid. 
on the football field, <laughs> head coaching them four days a week and at the game. Everything I do for these kids, we get off the field on Sunday, this little shithead. We get off the field, and he goes, you know why we lost? I go, I thought he was going to give me insight. He goes, you know why we lost? I go, what's that? What is it? He goes, Mohammed wasn't here. I go, you son of a I, Are you serious right now? Mohammed and his brother, right? Mohammed and his brother weren't here. I was like, after everything we did, that's what you got me with? Really? I was ready to knock him out. I was going to knock him out. Oh, my God. I was like, because, you know, my my boy, like, he's a smart kid. Like, he'll come out of the field, off the field. Like, I remember one game, um, one of the teams had a certain type of cadence. And if their cadence was said, then they were going on two. If another cadence was said, the QB was keeping it and and rolling out. And then another cadence was it was a pass play. He's doing all this. He picked up on it. Oh, my God. He picked up on that and told his defense. Like, he's a smart kid. He'll get those things, which is awesome. He wants to win, man. He wants to you win. Tell, yeah. He's got that competitive nature. But, he's, yeah, uh, when, I had him at nose, when I had him at nose tackle, man, I don't know who taught him it. I had nothing to do with this. Had him at nose tackle, so he's right in front of the center. As he's in front of the center, as that ball flicks, he could go. He's there. Bro, you're supposed to go, like, drive, right? Yeah. Shoot a gap, shoot the A gap, whatever it is. He's flicking the ball. He's got the fumble. He's flicking the ball. I'm like, That's who smart. taught you that? What are you That's doing? Smart. He's watching YouTube. He's watching YouTube too much. 100%. You too much. He's too doing much. Something. Yeah, seriously. But no, it's it's been good. We'll see how we do this week. Uh, winning in. Winning in the playoffs. We got the Pontiac Panthers this week. If you don't win, week. you could just win next week. And, and, right? Win next week. We got the Pontiac Panthers this week and the Plymouth Steelers next week. That's it's a big, big game. game. It's a big game. That's the rivalries. It's but a the huge other one's on Saturday, right? No, our, our we only have one Saturday game this week. That's it's done, right? It's done. Yeah, the oh, next yeah. or this year. But the only problem was, man, we we had that flood that happened not too long ago. Yeah, the field. So all so of our home games, are home in, games are in Ann Arbor. Arbor. Yeah. Uh, so we haven't been able to actually play at Plymouth Canton High. Not too bad. Uh, so it's it's been a little bit of a hike, but it well, hasn't been too bad. Let's get that done. So let's yeah, see how they do.